Welcome to this video on setting up alerts in Office 365 SharePoint. Today we're going to configure an alert, verify an, an email alert, delete an alert, and finally to check my alerts on the site. So let's get started. First let's go to our project folder. XYZ project. Now when we're setting up an alert, we have to go into each part to set it up. So like we would go into XYZ project tasks to set up alerts there if we want to. And also go to discussions and set them up. It doesn't take very long to do this, but we do need to make sure we do it per part or web part. So first thing we're going to do is go into XYZ Project Tasks. And from here we'll click on List. To turn on an alert, we'll go to the Alert Me icon, hit the down arrow, and click Set an Alert on this list. So what we have here is a setup screen that has some defaults that are pretty much set up the way we'd like to go today. I will change the title here to XYZ Project Task. This will be the name that we see in our email uh, to alert us that something has changed. And I'm sending it to myself and via email anything changes, all changes, send notification immediately. So let's say OK there. We should get a notification as you can see here that it was successfully created. Let me bring in my email client and show you what happened on my email. We got an email that looked like this. Total flow documentation, XYZ project task was set up. Okay. So now that we have that set up, let's go back to our project. Let's add a task to project task and see if this is working for us. So I'm going to go to new task. And I'm just going to call this test task. Just type that in. Say save. And you can see we have a test task now set up. As you can see, we did get an enunciation about our task. If we go over and look now in our email client, the test task has been added. So we did get an enunciation of the test task being added. One thing I'll show you while I'm here, if you elect to get more of a summary screen, like a once, a, once per day type screen, you can do that. And this is what it looks like. Instead of getting every Annunciation for every change that's made on the site. And it looks something like this. So this may be something you may want to do and you can elect to do this. So it gives you a nice little overview of once a day of what's going on on the site. Okay, let's get back to our web page. Okay, now that we're back, let's take a look at how do we determine what alerts we have for this site can we look at those? So we can simply go to page and go to alert me and manage my alerts. 
So here we can see the alerts we have, and I have several of them set up daily as you can see. But here's the one that we set up recently for immediate email response. So if we wanted to delete this one, we can hit delete, check the box, hit delete, say OK. And now that alert has been deleted and will no longer work Okay, on the site. This concludes the video on the alerts. I uh, hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for listening.